this is the rat speaking. Welcome all if you're looking. As you know, um, I have some different types of devices and one of them, well it's not a device, but a collection of devices and it's called a Euro rack. Recently I decided to change up what I have in my rack. Now, for as an explainer, um, in my rack I had a, a Behringer 960 a sequence controller um, with a Dupfer quantizer attached to it. And there was also a Division 6 mini dual sequencer and I got rid of these three devices. Why? Because uh, not so long ago I bought a Korg SQ64 sequencer and I discovered quickly that I enjoy working with that way more than with the 960 and the quantizer. Um, the digital Korg is uh, more flexible give me everything I need to sequence the, the, the VCOs that I have in the rack. And then I decided, okay, I can use the space in that rack that, I, that is now free to add some other components to it, which I like very much. And these two are an example of that. So the first thing I really wanted to have is from the 2500 ARP series, uh, made by Behringer again, the multi-mode filter and resonator module. And then as a second one, I chose the sample and hold random voltage module, also from the ARP 2500 series from Behringer. Why? Because the magic word random here. And let me show you, the magic word is right here, random. Now, why is this a magic word? That's because I love random, randomness. I love a certain amount of randomness in what I do when I make music. I love generating, um, sound sorts or types that are unpredictable sometimes. So this is something that um, I will probably wire up <coughs> in a thousand different ways every week. <laughs> and But for this video uh, the only thing I'm going to do, which is very boring to you probably, is get them out of the box and have a look at it. Now I do have other Behringer made modules in my rack already. Um, I can show them to you right now because I would have to move the camera and the camera is fixed right now, but I do use a Behringer 172, which is a phase shifter and the audio delay module. And I also use the 305, which is a stereo mixer. And these two modules I have. I was considering, th those are of course from the System 100 line. Um, and I was considering maybe <clears throat> getting the dual VCO from that line as well, or from the 2500 line. Um, and I quite like the, the mix that this gives me, because I have some other um, modules in there which make the rack um, kind of a wild bunch. So here we go, let's open up the uh, sample and hold random voltage module 1036 from Behringer. The unboxing is not very sexy. There's a little tape on the box, of course. And obviously we have the, um, I don't know what to call it, lint cable, I think. And as usual, uh, Behringer always gives you these stickers. There are some screws for the, sorry, that wasn't on camera, <laughs> some screws for the Euro rack. And there is a quick start guide, which I appreciate very much. And of course, this is the module itself. So let's get that opened. If I can find out where, how, yeah, here we go. Usually like this, as you can see, a bit of tape and such. Uh, and then it's open, but it's still not open. So like, and I will probably just do this to open the pack up and then discover that that doesn't work. So what I will do now is grab my scissors. I just cut it open because they taped it, they taped it up well, which I appreciate, but a little bit too well. 
Now here we go with the device. Well, the module, I call it device, but yeah, in some ways it's device. Now and here is what I appreciate very much, the design of this thing. I love it. it. Sounds stupid because it has no function, but I love the coloration. Of course the coloration does have function, but uh, you know what I mean. There's no, uh, it's, there's no need for the coloration. But I do like the way it's colors, um, it colors up, it uh, funkifies the Eurorack. Uh, the cool thing here is it has the double circuit, which is nice, so I can do everything twice. And you have the manual button, or you can of course clock it and trigger it in other ways. So I really like this. And as usual as I'm used to with Behringer, one can think of Behringer what one wants. But um, these are often, uh, most of the time, sturdy, well built. Of I know they're, they're of course, they're, they're, the electronics must be cheap because they're cheaply built. Uh, no, not cheaply built, but they're cheap to buy, especially in comparison with other brands. But they're well made. I really like those switches. These are really nice. I haven't seen these yet. Uh, I don't have another module from uh, Behringer with uh, these switches there. So that's the sample and hold. And let me get that a little bit out of the way because on camera that would be horrible. Um, open up the multi-mode filter and resonator module 1047. Again, with the link cable they're probably all the same, but I'll put the other one with the other module. Um, in the box as well, the screws, and I really enjoy the black ones, thank you very much. Quick start guide, and of course that stupid sticker that uh, probably nobody ever puts anywhere. But Let me see, this one, uh, they, packaged, they packaged their stuff up pretty good. <laughs> ah, and this one is open. Very nice, that's the stuff you shouldn't eat. That just came in that little pack. There we go, almost held it up in the uh, upside down. Uh, same thing here, nice with the coloration. It's gonna look so funky in my uh, rack. <laughs> oh yeah, and these are, I think these are the same, yeah, these are the same buttons, uh, uh, or well, at least the, the heads, the knobs are the same as that go on, for instance, the Neutron, which I have here as well. Yeah, so pl plenty of stuff. There's other people out there that know way more about these devices, about these modules, that can explain to you. I watched some videos myself. Um, for me personally, I don't uh, really uh, know on a scientific level how and why these work. What I do is use them and listen. And that's, that's how I decide how and what to use. But nevertheless, this was an informed decision. I put some uh, effort into finding out what these do and based the choice to purchase them on that. So there you have it, guys. T two new modules for my rack. I will, oops, I will soon um, put them in my rack and uh, start playing with them. And of course, I'll let you know what. Uh, what happened what, what happens when I do that and then of course um, I'll be doing a follow-up video for the uh, poly and tracker soon uh, which I've been using uh, quite a lot in the last couple of days starting to like very much but I will tell you later and uh, well that uh, that's it for now some fun modules I think for my Eurorack if you haven't thanks for watching um, let me know what you think I hope to see you in the next video. Be well.